My name is Sienna and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Vogue Beauty Secrets inspired video walking through my everyday makeup routine and all the products that I've been enjoying. First starting off I've decided just to curl my hair this morning. I guess is a fun fact about me. I love having curly hair and it definitely makes me feel more myself which is kind of crazy because my natural hair is wavy. We're going to start off with some skincare. Typically at the moment I've been using lots of coat skincare. I've been obsessed with this hydration intensifying gel serum and I love putting this on and then pairing it with the glow intensifying cream serum over the top just to really bring a natural glow into my skincare routine. I've got quite combination oily skin and I would definitely say I'm quite prone to breakouts. These products have been really amazing and they've been really agreeing with my skin. Always remember to bring down to your neck as well. I've got some of that on and then as I mentioned over the top I'm going to use some of the glow intensifying cream serum. This has vitamin C inside which is super important because vitamin C basically brightens up any dark areas on your face. I love a good skincare routine. I've been asked quite a lot if I do primer and stuff but I love doing a dewy skincare routine underneath my makeup because then it just contributes to the hydration and how my makeup feels all day. So skin prep is like so important so you should never sleep on skincare. Perfect. I'm feeling super hydrated. The most important thing in your skincare routine is your SPF. So I'm going to be using the Triple Protect SPF 30 Hydrating Cream. If I'm staying at home, I wouldn't put SPF on just because I'm in my house. But today I might be going out. So I want to just make sure I've got my SPF on. Always supposed to use two finger lengths worth of sunscreen. I was recently in Italy. I went to the Amalfi Coast for a week and when I was there I was applying so much sunscreen but unfortunately I think my body got really burnt but one thing that didn't get burnt was my face. <laughs> The climate was crazy. I always use SPF 50, I think because I used to live in a very hot climate, I know you need to always put the highest SPF. It's got the most tolerance to the sun. Now that we have done the skin prep, I'm now gonna go in with some eye gels as this is a Vogue Beauty Secrets inspired video. I always see so many of the celebrities using these eye patches or like nice deal ones and I'm like, girl, I don't even know where you can get those from. These ones look so nice because they're transparent and they've got like glitter in them and let them sit for a few minutes. I have just finished doing my eye gels and my under eyes are feeling super bright, super hydrated. I love using eye gels in the morning. Every time I've got a little bit extra time just because they really brighten and hydrate my under eye area. Now let's get into the makeup portion. Today I wanted to do more of a summery makeup look. I really want my makeup to look very bright, very natural today because it's a beautiful day outside. So I'm actually gonna be going in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I love using this, especially now that I've got a little bit of colour from when I was away. I'm just going to go in under my eyes and on like any areas of my face and blend it all in. I'm going to do a little triangle here as well. Then also on my chin. This has got to be one of my favourite makeup brushes. It is the Morphe Number no. 2 foundation brush. It is so good. I really recommend Morphe brushes in general. I just love how they... I love the application because it really makes the difference in all your makeup products. That's something I really love with the Flawless Filter is how naturally it blends into your skin and gives you such a nice glow. I'm going to go in with some powder. A little tip when you're using powder is to press it and then go in on the back of your hands so you get an even amount in your face. Little pat. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Powder and I'm just pressing this in on my face but not too much because I don't want to look cakey. I get quite oily on my T-zone so I do tend to put quite a little bit of powder over my nose area, my T-zone and then obviously down here as well. The powder is literally a game changer I felt like when I first started using it. Some days I was only just doing this powder and then my skin just looked really dewy which was so nice. This is my glowy base. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the Dior Rouge Blush in 999. I love the shimmer this product gives and also I love the pigment. As we're doing a Vogue video today, I love using a big fluffy brush with blush. <laughs> also another tip that I mentioned also with the powder, the back of your hand, put on your brush, put on the back of your hand and you've got way more control. That is a makeup tip I learned. Look how beautiful that colour is. I love putting blush on my nose, so I'm gonna pop some in there as well. We are looking very rosy. Now this is, I love this look. I love the blush. Love using Rare Beauty blushes, but today 
I'm gonna use that one. Now we are going to go in and do my eyebrows. I don't use anything special for my brows. I literally like to comb them and go through with them with a brow pencil. This is just from WE7. And then I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel I'm gonna use. This stuff holds my brows in place like no other. So if you're looking for like the ultimate brow freeze, this is amazing. It's just a clear brow gel, but the hold of this product is truly insane. It keeps my brows in place all day. You only need as well, literally one dip. Next up, we're going to curl the lashes. Got my eyelash curler and I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes. first coat of mascara. So this is actually the Maybelline Lash Sensational Very Black Mascara. This stuff I've been using for years. I love how it looks on my lashes. Favorite. I love this mascara. It's so good. Also their Sky High one as well is amazing. Just apply it upwards motions at the end of my lashes so the bottom isn't weighing it down too much. Then I got a really nice application for my mascara. Now this lip combination, if you've been following me for a while, TikTok, Instagram, even YouTube, you guys know how obsessed I am with Glossier's lip liners. I literally need them in every single shade there is. They are so good. I'm gonna do these two. I think this is the vibe we're going for today. This is the Glossier Crayon Lip Liner. I've been using it practically every day. I do however need to sharpen it. So let's ignore that. I used to just just put lip balm or lipstick on and call it a day. I actually realized that lip liner is such a game changer. And put a little bit here in the middle of my lip, pulls it all together really nicely when the gloss is on top. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. Beautiful, I love it. To set everything in place, we're gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Night, Stay All Day Setting Spray. This is actually so good. I think people will either love it or hate it. I personally love it. As you guys can see, I've used quite a bit. Spray and keep my makeup all in place throughout the day today. We are done with the makeup look. I am so obsessed with this makeup and how it's turned out today. I think it's between glam, natural, everyday makeup. Just a little bit elevated with the lip choice, but I love that. I will have all the products I mentioned in today's video down below, ready for you guys to shop if you liked anything mentioned in today's video. Thank you so much for watching my Vogue Beauty Secrets video. If you guys like more videos like this, let me know down below. I would love to make one again. I love you guys so much, have an amazing day, an amazing stream week, and I'll see you all in my next video.